Hi guys, welcome back to Harry Makes It Up. Today I'm going to be creating something a little bit festive and I'm gonna be using glitter, so I'm very excited. Um, I have got a few pieces here, some new, some old favorites. I'm just gonna have a little play. First thing I want to start with is lip balm and I was recently sent this by Emile Cordon. This is the Lisa number no. one rose champagne lip balm and this is such a pretty lip balm. I'm absolutely loving this at the minute. It smells kind of like pink strawberries, Turkish delight, really, really lovely. I like this on skin as well. So I'm just gonna balm up my lips just so they're moisturized when I come to doing them. And really pretty for a present as well, actually. I think it's very similar to kind of like balm de rose, very nice little gold lid, really loving that. It's funny, whenever my hair is pinned back like this, I always feel slightly Princess Leia-esque. So I feel like now it's getting a little bit colder, not quite in LA, but generally, I know it's kind of the colder time of year. I'm gonna prep my skin at first with Elemis Pro Radiance Illuminating Flash Balm. You guys will have seen me use this a ton. I absolutely love this for part moisturizer, part glow under your base. So I'm just using a little bit of that pretty much all over. I find this gives a really nice kind of emollient feel. I've even got glitter nails today, guys. I've literally gone all out glitter top, glitter nails. I don't know if there's such a thing as too much glitter, but I am definitely going for it today. And for base, I think I will do my base first today, but I'll probably do my concealer last. You guys know I do things in all different orders. Um, for a more moisturizing base this time of year, I really, really love the Tom Ford Traceless Foundation Stick. I am the shade for Fawn. Um, I find this a really, really moisturizing foundation stick, which I do think is quite hard to find. I feel like it's quite a buildable formula. It's sheer to medium, depending on how much you want to use. And I find this a good one when you're in a rush, so you can kind of just pop a bit on the skin. And I'm just gonna use my fingers to blend it in, but you can totally use a brush. Um, I just find this is a good one, like say if you're kind of going from work to a Christmas party, it's a nice one to have in your handbag, um, just for kind of touching up any areas you need to as well. Great for dry skin. This is such a good foundation for dry skin, which mine tends to get a little bit drier this time of year. This one's also great as well for party season because there's no SPF in, so no flashback. Really, really nice for photographs. I wanted to create a look for you guys today whereby if you're drinking, dancing, you are eating, you don't have to worry about your makeup. So this is very fuss free, long wear makeup, perfect for dancing in. Um, I'll recommend some other videos as well up above that would also be great party looks this time of year. But I wanted to use glitter today and I wanted to kind of do like a fail safe glitter look that I think is very easy to apply to kind of everyone and the way you wear liner. So I just want to put a little wash of color over my lid. So I'm still in love with the Charlotte Tilbury instant look in a palette. So I'm just gonna take the Brighton shade, so this one here, and I'm just gonna sweep that over the lid. So there's a little something on the lid, um, but nothing too full on or kind of too glittery, just something quite literally just to like brighten the eye. Then I think I might do brows. Did I bring anything for brows? Yes. I haven't used this for a long time, guys, but it's what I wore on my wedding day, and I forget how much I love it. It is the Lancome Sorcile Gel, the eyebrow gel, or a pomade if you like, and I just find this color, I've got slippy hands now, so nothing's gonna undo. Um, this is a really good color for brows, so I'm just gonna run a little bit of that through, so I don't have to worry about my brows losing their shape or losing any thickness, and then take a bit of excess off on the back of my hand, and just go to kind of like fill in any gaps. So moving on to liner, I'm going to take this M Cosmetics liner. This is the black one, and this is just such a great smudgy coal. This is the matte gel pencil. And I'm gonna take that first to tight line all the way into the top waterline. And I'm gonna curl lashes before I do the actual liner. I'm just gonna give a good squeeze with my eyelash curler. Then I'm gonna take my Tom Ford, uh, this is the high definition, is it high definition? High definition pen, eye defining pen even. <laughs> and I'm gonna draw quite a large wing liner because I want this to really be a statement. So I'm gonna start from the inside corner and I'm gonna take my flick a little bit lower than I would do normally. And I'm really gonna pull it out so it's quite dramatic. to about there, and then I'm going to start to join up. I 
and I'm taking it to kind of like quite a graphic shape and then I'm gonna fill in and I'm just gonna pull that inner corner down a little bit so it kind of comes to more of a point just to elongate and make it that little bit more kind of like a feline shape just making sure the liner itself is quite big and thick and it's kind of tailing out it, it slightly turns up as on the outside corner but not so much that it looks like a big kitten flick it's more of like slightly graphic in shape but nice and thick and you can see now where we've gone in with the in the tight line it just makes it much blacker looking much kind of cleaner so once you're happy with your flicks again i don't think they need to be completely perfectly symmetrical as long as you've got that nice big bold graphic shape that looks really good and then you want to add some glitter now the way i'm going to do it is actually by using one of these urban decay heavy metals i think these are the most genius way of using glitter they're not messy you can do your base first there's no spill down and i just think they look really cool kind of like added to a liner so you can either go across the top you can fill the whole liner in so there are so many cool colors in these urban decay these are the heavy metal the kind of glitter eyeliners I absolutely love these. I've got the shade Midnight Cowboy, which is this amazing gold. And I'm just gonna take it over the top. So it's gonna like accent the liner. So it'll just catch the light. So the black is gonna keep the intensity. And I love how thin the brush is on these. They are so super cool. And I'm just starting in the middle on the kind of roundest part. Now, this is also why it's best to go a little bit thicker with your liner, and I kind of said it doesn't matter too much about getting it absolutely perfect, because you're probably gonna to start to remove a little bit of the black anyway, as you come into the inner corner. But you can use that as like your outline, as if it was like a coloring book. But it is just so fun, so festive, and it's like the right amount of glitter without it being too high maintenance. Again, nothing's falling down the cheek. It's so easy to use. So I'm literally just tracing along the liner. So it's like another flick on top of a, fit, a flick with glitter. And you know, if you need more glitter, just dip the brush back in. But it is such a cool little Christmassy hint. So that's the glitter. I did just get a bit of my finger and touch my face. So I've managed to still get it on my face anyway. Um, I just have a wipe here. I'm just gonna attempt to remove the glitter that was on my finger. And there you have like a really nice little statement kind of eye look. So I'm going to add some mascara and I'm going to use the L'Oreal uh, Paradise Exotic, Ecstatic even. I find this is just a nice, full, intense lash. And we'll touch up any bits of the base that we need to do in a second. But you just want lots of mascara. You could totally add some falsies to this if you wanted more drama. But I think kind of keeping the glitter cool, it's quite nice not having any lashes and just lots of mascara instead. So now I just wanna add a little bit more glow to the skin before I add any more of the stick foundation. So I'm gonna use ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Pearlized in Wisp. This is a really nice kind of, I guess you'd say like a goldy bronze and I like using this on my finger. I find these are just such a creamy finish. So I'm just gonna pop a little, whoa, look at that. And just kind of adding it under the skin as like a little layer of glow. But these blend so nicely with fingers. So I'm just patting that in. So concealer, I've been trying out a new one by Urban Decay as well. This is their, uh, the All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer. Um, we talked about this on Full Coverage recently actually, because I do like it. I just feel like you have to work with it quite quickly. So, and for me, because it's full coverage, I just need the tiniest dots. I'm gonna do a little bit under the eyes, kind of like that, and just pat it in with my finger. And you can see it's kind of very, very heavily pigmented. So what I will say is, if you have oily skin, I think you're really gonna love this. I think if you have super dry skin, this might not be the best one for you. I'd stick with their normal concealer. Um, but for a party look, because it's waterproof, I've kind of chosen it for this look because I think just a little bit under well moisturized skin with like a dewy foundation like the Tom Ford one means you will get that coverage um, that's gonna stay put as well. So great if you're dancing. Uh, I just like to make sure I kind of tap a little bit so it kind of really works into the skin and doesn't settle into any fine lines. So I'm gonna use a cream bronzer because I'm just obsessed with this one by Make. This is the Dew Pot in Bronze One. You guys know I have talked about this so much. 
I think I used it in my Raquel Welch kind of inspired video, so just on my finger. It's quite a stiff formula, but because of that, I feel like, unlike other creams, it actually kind of stays around a really nice amount of time. So I am just working that through the hairline, through the temples, just to warm myself up a little bit because I think this is a nice look. It's quite a nice kind of bronzy, the gold glitter like just really complements the look. And this will kind of give me a nice glow to the skin without needing any additional highlighters as well because it's a cream product. And do a little bit on my nose just because I like my nose to look like it's caught the sun as well. And I think I will add, I feel like my bottom lashes, I'm undecided. I think I will add a little bit of mascara, but I feel like I'm gonna go back to the Charlotte Tilbury palette and just take a teeny tiny, bit of the smoke shade which is the darker brown and I'm just going to take that under the bottom lash line so it's like a little bit of shadow there just very very subtly and then just going to do some mascara to the bottom lashes as well so just for a little bit of balance and then I think I'm going to add a tiny bit of blush but I'm gonna so I'm going to go to this one by Cage Bryce this is blossoming I believe it is blossoming yep just a nice kind of easy tone pink I'm just going to pat that in with my ring finger and just add kind of a dot into the bronzer, just so it's not kind of too one dimensional. I'm just gonna add and tap out with my other finger, so it's a little bit of color. And then to finish, I think I will use a tiny bit of powder just where I want it. So I'm gonna take um, Hourglass Dim Light, because it's amazing. And I'm just gonna take a Real Techniques Bold Metals, one of the big powder brushes. And I'm just gonna take the shine away here. It's not really about making it last because we've used products that will last really well on the skin, but we just wanna add a tiny bit to the T-zone. So we have the shine where we want it, but kind of not in the center of the face, so. So I'm gonna take this nude by Chanel. This is 168 in the Rouge Allure, and I can see the glitter now where the one bit was on my hand. And I'm just gonna pat it on. I'm just gonna kind of amp up the nudeness, if you like. So I think I'm actually gonna go a bit deeper than I originally thought with the lipstick. I think that Chanel one I used to wear when I was much paler, and now I have a tan, it looks a bit too dead on me. So I'm gonna go for one by H&M. This is Cream Chestnut, and this has a little bit more of kind of my natural lip color in with a beige tone. That's much better. So it's just a slight lip, like kind of one shade up, and still kind of patted into the lips. So that just has a tiny bit more color in it, which is a bit of a better nude for me. Now I am more tan. So that's the finished look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed that. So I've also done a blog post to go with this video, which is party pieces and how to use makeup to accessorize over the party season, using makeup as a way to kind of dress up your outfits or just tweak things a little bit. So I'll link that down below. Thank you so much as well, guys, for all your amazing support with the new blog as well. You guys have been awesome and are loving the content. Um, there was a whole week of content that went live the first week and now it will be Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. So I'd love you to check that out. So I would love it if you guys subscribe. I hope that was helpful and I'll see you soon for videos. Thanks so much guys, bye.